Hear ye, hear ye, hear ye. House of Han. We've got one slight solution that requires a great deal of sacrifice on one of the Sentinel Leagues. <clears throat> it might help you through the upcoming crisis, which is going to spike at the Terracotta Temple. You guys too busy? You want me to tell it or what? Cindy's in heat, so. I'll try. Ah, uh, getting out. Uh, my Russian dog is a little uh, rusty here, so <clears throat> and I'm kind of more or less uh, lip syncing with uh, Space Lord Lakia. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> these are the terms you evac them 10,000 dogs. You get them healthy, you get them back to their owners, if they have, uh, they don't own their humans. You get those dogs back to their, the humans that they adopted and that they live with, and the other ones. Once this is all settled, then you move those back into the ter terracotta warrior palace there, that complex. You fix it up, clean it up, clean up all the mercury. <clears throat> Han, you do that. Okay, now you know how to clean up mercury. Get fucking going, okay? <clears throat> You're the biggest clan on the of Homo sapien on the face of my earth, anyhow. Yeah, we could say that. Uh, currently uh, in situ, on location. And um, just make it fucking so. Start getting fucking sentient right away. And we'll uh, see about treating your prion infection and getting you back on your road on the mandate to heaven in a new globally cooperative form between all entities interested we can work together because that's how you gotta fucking do it out there if you're actually even lucky enough to ha ever cross trade winds with another sentient species even to the point where you can have a data archive exchange hey bear obviously y'all are <coughs> Remembering your no mixing by Oda routine. I mean, sure, maybe after you've successfully terraformed a hundred bodies and brought in all kinds of sentient life matrix, then you might have enough knowledge to take your species and mix it with other life worlds or any life species that you have that has domain over you. That's your responsibility to preserve and protect and serve out and nourish. And you wanna know why? You can't imagine why? Cause your fucking existence, your very existence depends on it. Depends on, on creatures like these that allow your stinking genetic mutation to exist in the first place. Get fucking doing it. You want fucking help, otherwise the ice is on your fucking head. And you lose the terracotta palace anyhow. And I don't know if you know what's underneath. I don't know if anyone had destroyed it yet or stole it. It's not yours. That's part of the fucking package. Shit, you ain't gonna ever get on your own. And if you did, you'd soon kill yourselves. All right. Well, peace up. We'll just uh, we'll just end with this. Uh, like I said, I gave real Canadian democracy uh, in principle. <clears throat> I gave um, power of authority for it, to, uh, conditional to uh, the Green Party of Canada. Uh, the site's defunct. 
the domain is nullified, it's not up for grabs, it's just in stasis. And um, I guess we're going for a uh, voter sanctioned cons constituted coalition between the Green, I, I hope the block will be wise enough to get on, NDP, the cannabis parties, and um, get you back up to uh, a majority coalition. And this is how you're gonna do it. And this is the compromise. The uh, Citizens uh, Veto Act. Yeah, you got that? Citizens Veto Act. It's a super veto power. Uh, can be done using the uh, same computer infrastructure we use to serve RFID cash, cash transfers, all kinds of everything, every fucking thing you do. That same system, yeah, you know it. <clears throat> well, you know, like the fat man always said, give a rich man rope to hang himself with, or sell him, or, or have him beat you to make it, or whatever, he'll hang himself with it. Hey, are you, Julie? Julie, you wanna you wanna rub ridges and sorrows? <laughs> ridges of worries and brows of sorrow. Or no, how was that go, Bill? Oh, well, he's off. I don't know. Pluking his virgins in in been. Uh, Assassinated heaven or whatever. Bell hell out to you, bud. Okay. All right. The dogs are. Uh, they want to get into the bunker. You guys, you bringing the deers down with you? So anyhow, Han. My shaw. Oh yeah. You uh. You make it known. I'm sure you could. I heard one of them Ukrainian uh, Antov 226s with the six engines, or a 224 or whatever, whatever, whatever you got to get them dogs out of there and then and, and start hauling the people out of that fucking area. And um, like I said, last of the Ulin dog steel beaten eat contest. No Murray! Oh, no, no, no! Hey, chop, 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 you! Hey. Right. That's them other two mutts. Oh, Lord Lakey is some um, sidekick. So, anyhow. Oh, they heard it too. <laughs> Those dogs don't have rank and tyranny and sociopathic tyrannical rule and all them other manners and memes of schemes and scams that render society ineffective. <clears throat> they have context, so, you know, depending on who's the most proactive on the problem that needs resolution, the danger to the pack or whatever, they that's the momentary leader. They have very dynamic governance in dog pack society. You wouldn't know because you probably uh, weren't uh, able to <clears throat> go with the dog's way. What you got there is a pet that you've probably mutated with all sorts of shit, but anyhow, I'm sure you love them. And I'm sure, uh, Jan, uh, Han there, you, uh, you will, uh, you will love your new, um, arrangement in equality, and then, you know, you start with the dogs, because they're the easiest. Like I said, they're the man's only friend, really. <coughs> Cats like you, because you scare the mice and, and bugs up. And cockroaches, so, you know, easy hunting. Something to rub their something soft and warm, and 
of the opposite charge to uh, discharge their, uh, their glands on. As loving as some of those kitties can be. Hey, kitty! Oh, yes. There's, you, we're just lucky we're on your love list and not your eliminate list. Hey, <laughs> evict list. Okay, we're trying to get her back to just evicting the unwanted. <clears throat> Those that we can't cohabitate with at our current um, level of dysfunction and disability. <clears throat> you know, as opposed to, I know you, if they can't get in the house, no problem, right? Okay, so whatever your problem is with them 10,000 dogs that you guys feel you gotta eat, it, eat them, torture them, steal them, torture them, and then eat them, uh, deal with it. You have. Well, 32 hours? 32? Okay. 32 hours and licking. Hey. Okay. Is that what she said? Okay, so, uh, I don't know. If I were you guys, I'd be bold as piss and just fucking burst online. Um, maybe the Yanks will, uh, <clears throat> Face punch your um, central scrutinizer and um, do a mass organization and get all the people down there. <clears throat> Emancipate those dogs and um, take care of them. Get them. Repatriate the the ones that you can and and um, you know they were left there for a reason, eh? They stayed there for a reason in spite of what you guys were doing to them and now now look at what you're doing to them. Holy old holy old dog. Good dog. Good dog. I can't think about it anymore because <clears throat> I'll be so enraged that I won't be able to do my part to try and help you all, you bunch of fucking dog killing munching needless murder and voracious beasts. Mindless beasts. No place in heaven for you. No, 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 no. But let's see if we can requalify you, eh? Okay, I hope you got your astronauts down too. <clears throat> Good luck with the uh, hill. The hill from heaven! Which you won't be going to for a while. But don't worry, that just encourages you to get along with the rest of the Homo sapiens space programs and right back at it. No more ripping off, no more of this ineffective manufacturing this nonsense where you build something here and waste a bunch double the price of it and the middleman's cut by whipping it all the way across the world when it could just as easily be manufactured here there 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 and then you know you get you get a storm like shoemaker levy on jupiter shoemaker levy nine and it wipes out this sector and you know Maybe uh, over here you have a Mount Toba or a Yellowstone and wipes all, all that. <coughs> oh, oh great. There goes one of the uh, octagon radii <laughs> of our great globalist created syndicate monopolization machine monster. <coughs> okay, you get the picture. <clears throat> Okay, we, we can make hydrogen cars here and here and here and here and then if we leave, lose those three, well, we still got one at least. You get the picture, okay? Now, just, just, uh, <coughs> just be upscale on that a little, eh? Okay. Hey, keep going to Mars. Mars is waiting. Okay. You'd be there already with the 2.1 million. Uh, <clears throat> I'm dehydrating. I'm way behind. The 2.1 trillion, which was subsequently raised to 2.3 trillion after 9-11. You know, the ones that... Oh, was that... Old Rummy there that announced it, the Defense Secretary. Uh, oh shit! 
I was forgetting the other guy's name because I want to. Um, <clears throat> yeah, well, anyhow, you know, the one he said on, on 9, uh, on uh, 8, uh, 11, that they would have a big White House uh, press conference and announce the uh, preliminary conclusions of the uh, dual-pronged investigation into the missing 2.1 trillion dollars so blah 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 okay well we know we know we know the records got blowed up in the west wing of the pentagon and and the fbi portion of the, of the evidence in building seven of the world trade center got demolished and i guess they had to didn't have time to remove that evidence either before they had to demolish it to uh well i don't know just what just Pull it in the silver beard, yeah. Oh, just pull it, man. Just pull it and let's see if we get lucky. Okay, so anyhow, uh, back onto the topic. <coughs> that $2.1 trillion spent wisely and effectively. I would have already had you a Mars Express asteroid convoy. Uh, the mining, all the mining technology well into its... Uh, <clears throat> blossoming stage that you would use to do all this and move this asteroid and that asteroid around which is the stuff you're going to use to take over from the solar sentinel duty and keep from getting creamed by a <clears throat> well you know watch Mars this fall eh? sighting springs <laughs> well uh, I was sighted but Shoemaker 9 left go, go into creator's cottage cheese the Right there. Right there. <laughs> okay. Go into that playlist and have a look at the Shoemaker Levy 9. I'll make it stir on that one. If, if you're lucky. I don't know why I'm wasting time because, you know, I should just be telling you all one thing. If anyone wants any of my material, they better make arrangements and keep the lines of communication open because my YouTube's been cancelled. 54 days and counting down. They already did my Google. I can't get a plus, which I never wanted in the first place. Never agreed to. <sighs> never clicked. Okay! And never would because the only way I signed something ambiguous under stress and duress is to include that above the signature. And you know, words like catchphrases below like not in agreement but in acknowledgement of demands uh, or if you want to be sort of agree upon my solicitors or barrister or lawyers approval whatever you got or intend to retain and uh, if you want to specify a cooling off period as they like to call it in commerce in tort law I'm gonna go for it and um, get fucking going. Two point one trillion. You would you would have been fucking ready to have some real terraforming assistance and le le lessons, lessons in, in instructionals, leading examples. Yeah, remember core crunch time is a coming. Big blurbs are coming. Yeah, well, no, actually. Yeah, I guess if this is one and the same, I don't know. If these, these doggons that made y'all from a serious C sector there, if they, uh, that, well, GMO'd you out of whatever remains they found of, of well, the humanoids that went before you. <laughs> uh, doesn't really matter just get get fucking going you haven't got time to to create mass destruction anymore and you can't have any more of my earth's resources to do that 14th back tune is has passed and that's that okay you guys are all in hostile lease holdover and uh, you know which never really had a right to in the first place but again the dogs the fucking dogs so your gods are uh 
nowhere near as generous as your dogs. So get with it. Get fucking going. <clears throat> Stop wasting your money competing against each other because that's the first thing you gotta get over for you. Make her out past Lord Lakia's inner space command. That's uh that's the way she goes. Uh, and of course we're still dealing with the quarantine, so yeah. Temporarily re re imposition of the quarantine to the prion factor. Which we're cleaning up, right? We're going to protect the animals that we didn't extinct already, and that's that's all practice. That's that's your secret purpose, man. Yeah, that's why you were. Those were the pledges and policies that those with power of attorney over you, your creators, uh, that's what they agreed to, including you having you off and mobile and. Serving life floating to the heavens on the 14th back to which passed on <clears throat> December 21st, 2012, as you all know. So, you've overstayed your welcome. Seeing how your dads are all dead and, and your, your expected messiahs is, well, <clears throat> they didn't make it. Would have known by now. Whatever the fuck Chicken Little was out doing there in the doggone system, I don't know. I don't know if she succeeded. I, I blew it. Well, schools are coming! It's Ragnarok season. Ragnarok, baby. Yeah, the final one. The final, the final one. Burbs are coming. Hey, burbs are coming. Bit the almonds are warmer than thawing. So, what would you be looking for in a hyper velocity binary? Singularity. Super fast. Super liminal. Faster than light speed.